This is the Apple one month overview reading for September 2022. It's currently August 26, 2022, 9.01 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the overall theme and behavior, we have a decline that offers an opportunity to open up a long position. It's crossed with selling from overbought territory from an overbought crest on RSI. I'm advised to buy protection at that point as well. Uh, behavior around the high, we have sideways rotation along support um, near the high, and there's also a fake out, uh, an intentional fake out or shake out of some sort up there on, on the day that we have the high. Uh, the behavior around the low, I'm advised to be prudent around the low. There's maybe multiple false lows or multi multiple uh, like fake outs, shake outs, that sort of stuff. Probably multiple false lows. That's usually what it is false lows or false highs. And since it's in the low position, that'd be false lows. Um, on the first, we have a high. We meet a resistance level. That's a key resistance level on a one-month chart. <clears throat> um, looks like we have a big move to the upside early in the day. Um, two local highs on a one-day chart. We see two prominent highs and two prominent lows and one swing trade opportunity. The prominent highs, one of them takes place at a key technical price level um, on a one-day chart and likely on the one-month chart based on the car and the, uh, the uh, Ace of, of Swords card. Uh, the other high on the one-day chart for the first is going to be an intentional fake out or shake out involved in that. Uh, one of the local lows on the one-day chart, uh, we ha it forms where we have selling from overbought crest or near overbought crest, um, and we sell down into that low. And then the other one, there's a big unexpected move out of it. Um, so we likely have a low, big unexpected move out of it early in the day, it looks like, um, because we also have a correlation to selling from overbought territory, and you see there's that low. So it looks like we probably sell into a, a month's low or a month's trough here um, on the second. There's a swing trade opportunity involving a big move to the upside, on I mean, a rational move higher. Um, and there's a period of sideways rotation along support that ends with a fast move to the upside. Um, big, big move off of the low, possibly to the low as well for the day. On the sixth, we have a decline, a prominent decline on a one month chart to stand out. Um, a trade opportunity involving a failed attempt to break through key resistance and a decline through key support. Those are both on the one, one day uh, scale. Uh, there's a big move out of a decline near the low, from the low, a uh, big move from the bottom of the range all the way to the top of the range on the one day chart. Um, and also, here's the opera, here, here, on, here on the sixth and the seventh is where we have this opportunity to open up the long position. There's a lot of correlation here to the uh, Princess of Cups card. Um, so likely open, open up a long position that expires out past the end of September um, based on this high on the last day. Um, you can always sell it here, but uh, likely sell it at uh, on the 30th. Um, on the 8th, I'm advised to buy protection midday. Um, there's a one, one prominent high on a one-day chart for the 8th uh, involving a, a, male, a male leader being highlighted there. Um, and there's sideways price swings with a bullish trend. Um, on the 9th, we have a swing trade opportunity involving a big move to the upside. It's almost irrational. Um, the bump jarring behavior for the 9th is bumping up against resistance. We may break through and then bump up again against another one. Um, on the 12th, it looks like we have, you know, we go from, from the 8th to the 9th, we have a crest on the, or a high, and then on the 12th, it looks like we likely have a high here as well. Um, there's a, a, a rally along a diagonal trend line breaking through horizontal resistance, meaning secondary resistance, and then pulling back to somewhere between the two price levels. Um, it looks like it looks like over, on the on uh, the ninth or the twelfth, the, the rally starts to secede. Um, on the thirteenth, there's rotation along sideways rotation along a key support level on a one, on a one month chart, and that sideways rotation increases with bullish momentum as we move forward into the day. And then we have another month's high here. Uh, this is likely a month's high on the 14th, um, early in the day, and we have selling down from overbought territory. The, the high, the month's high is probably somewhere here between like the 12th and the 14th, just to be clear. Um, and there's a sh there's a strong decline off of that month's high, um, selling from near overbought territory. On the 15th, we come up against a range. Um, looks like probably the bottom of a range. Uh, and we rally out of that. There's a big move from the bottom of, uh, of a range to the top of a range out of the, the, one, the low for the 15th. Um, we also have, uh, in the midst of a decline, opportunity to open up a long position correlator here. <clears throat> on the 16th, we have a key support level that's established. Um, on a one-month chart, it'll stand out. There's two highs that should stand out on a one-day on one chart. One of them involves two leaders or a merger of some kind. 
Uh, the other, other one involves uh, a male leader of nations. The one, there's two, uh, excuse me, there's one low as well, one prominent low on a one day chart. There'll be a big move to reach it and a big move off of it. And the swing trade opportunity uh, on the 16th involves a decline through multiple uh, support levels on a one day chart. Uh, looks like we probably have a gap down on the 19th and we break out uh, on the 19th. There's a breakout on a one month chart, a uh, big move to the upside to distant resistance, a uh, rational move to the upside. On the 20th, a big move to uh, a big move higher, followed by a uh, equal move, a full retracement back down through that same price. Also, we break up through resistance level and break back down through it shortly thereafter. On the 21st, we have sideways S formation between horizontal resistance and horizontal support. Uh, the one high, prominent high on the 21st will involve a merger, a leader, uh, two leaders, a decision between two leaders possibly. Um, and the one local low on the 21st, uh, it's going to be uh, a big move to it and a big move off of it. Uh, so I'm advised to buy protection near a, a, a day's low on the 21st, which means that we probably have a lower level. We probably have a lower level. On, um, we start the day lower on the on the 20, uh, 22nd, um, with a big move to the upside out of a trough or, or a prominent low. There's a big move to the upside, pushing the upper end of the range. We also, there there should be some decline early in the morning on the 20, 22nd because we see that correlation to the uh, Princess of Cups card. Uh, on the 20, and a swing trade opportunity involving, a, on the 22nd, a swing trade opportunity involving a uh, uh, failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one-day chart, followed by a decline through uh, key support on a one-day chart. On the 23rd, three crisscrosses back and forth through the same price level, confirming a bullish trend. Um, and uh, that's on a, on a one-month chart. There's a big price move on the 23rd, big price move on the 23rd. Um, on the 26th, looks like we have probably have a crest here uh, towards mid-afternoon. We sell down two and through a support level and then turn around and reuse that support as support. On the 27th, a U-shaped dip, uh, appearing somewhere between two perpendicular diagonal trend lines. On the 28th, we have a resistance level that we rally into a resistance level. Um, and then from that resistance level, we break down with consecutively uh, lower spikes up on the way down. And those spikes up usually meet moving averages in bearish formation as resistance. Um, the one swing trade opportunity on the 28th, uh, there's a big move to the upside involved in it. And it, it's an irrational move to a distant resistance level. On the 29th, we have selling from uh, overbought territory on RSI as a correlation to the crossing card. Um, there's one swing trade opportunity in the midst of it. Okay, so the 29th is the halting of a bullish trend marked by a steep decline through a key support level, and that's on a one month chart. Um, there's a lot of correlation to a decline here on the, on, uh, on the 29th. Uh, and then we have a swing trade opportunity involving a fast set move higher mark in the end of a period of decline. And the one local low that we see on the 29th chart uh, informs when we have selling from near overbought territory on our side from a crest where we have near overbought territory on our side. On the 30th, another uh, another correlation to a month's, uh, month's high. This is likely the month's high here on the 30th. Um, and we have a revisiting of a support level um, in the midst of some sideways rotation. And there's a sharp dip in the midst of that sideways rotation as well. Um, looks like the uh, correlation to the Princess of the Cups card again on the 30th as well. So off of the high, we probably drop. And in the midst of that drop, there's an opportunity to open up a long position and probably have a, a big move very, very shortly in, in, into the month of October. Uh, that's Apple for September 2022, my friends. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, when you make that money, there's a rule of karma here from using this free information. We're, we're working day and night to give you this stuff give you the edge but it will only work out for you by following the rule of karma okay you take 10 percent of your profits set it aside and cut that in half half of the 10 percent goes to uh pay it forward somebody that doesn't expect it that can really use it make somebody's day the other half of that 10 percent so five percent you pay it back to uh cash app cap Revev's cash app to support the team and show gratitude when you're grateful you have more to become grateful for gratitude begets gratitude my friends and then most important part of this guys the 90 the remaining 90 percent make sure you, you spend it out of love as long as it's out of love the universe is going to send it back to you tenfold in all directions i'll see you on the next one